Hey everybody, welcome back to the News at 4. If you've been a Cyclone fan for any amount of time, you probably remember when a trip to the Cheez-It Bowl in Orlando, Florida is something we only could have dreamed of. But this is the norm these days, and it's because of what's been built in Ames. WHO 13 Sports Director Keith Murphy joins us live from Orlando with some good perspective on this game. Hey, Keith. Hey, Dan, uh, the pep rally just finished up here a while ago, and there, as there always are, were hundreds, if not thousands, of Cyclone fans having a great time. One of those fans is also the director of athletics, Jamie Pollard. I had a chance to visit with Jamie, talk to him about several subjects, including his health. It was just a month ago uh, that Pollard revealed he was recovering from testicular cancer. First of all, Jamie, how are you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling great. Great. Um, thanks for asking, though, but um, not, a, not an issue. Great medical care, tackling it head on. That's good to hear. Looking back to, to last year in the Fiesta Bowl and not being able to have the fans there, uh, what's it like to have this perspective now to have the fans back? Well, it makes you uh, appreciate what maybe you take for granted because I remember last year, you know, you were so fired up to go to the Fiesta Bowl, and then it just was, in some ways, kind of this, like, emotional letdown. Mm -hmm. Even though the game went well for us, there wasn't that same pomp and, you know, excitement around it. So it's fun to be able to come out and see all the fans back out here and kind of feeling like we're back to normal. Coach Campbell told us that uh, there are no COVID concerns with the, the Cyclone football team. Uh, given some of the cancellations around the country, how, how relieved are you to know it's going well and how have you been able to navigate all this? Well, I felt pretty confident we'd be okay because we've been pretty consistent through the entire process going back, you know, a year and a half. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, you do hold your breath a little when you start looking at all the cancellations. But, but we're good. Our guys have been really good about it. Um, Mark Coberly does an incredible job as our director of sports medicine. and So we'll be ready to go, and my understanding is Clemson is too. I can't help but notice uh, Matt Campbell is still the head coach uh, at Iowa State. What does it mean to you to still have him be the head football coach? Well, I mean, you just have to look at the success we've had since he's been here, and, and you just take a step back and go, wow, you know, we really need to appreciate what he's done for Iowa State University and, and you know, and just enjoy that ride. And, you know, I, I, I'm glad that he's still here. Um, would I prefer that there not be all that speculation? Yes, that, I mean, just being honest. But at the same time, um, you know, it's also great that we have somebody other people want. That means something good's happening in Ames, Iowa. Notre Dame, uh, Oregon, now Clemson. What would it mean to this season to beat Clemson? Well, it's a huge opportunity for us. And, um, you know, these games are somewhat a reward for, you know, what's transpired during the year for the players, but it's also a chance to kind of spur what's going to be next, right? And, you know, I look at Brees Hall as a great example, and um, there's, you know, several young men on that team that are going to get a chance to show themselves Thursday. And, you know, that could really kick off a lot of excitement for next fall. So beating Clemson would be huge for our program. Do you eat a lot of Cheez-Its? Do I eat a lot of Cheez-Its? I learned... I learned that there are multiple flavors of Cheez-Its. I did not know that. And uh, for those at home that are wondering what's Jamie Pollard's favorite Cheez-It, it is the, the ranch um, ridged ones that are my favorite. And we did a taste test. I think there were five different ones we could choose from. Football is the focus right now, but just a huge basketball game coming up on New Year's Day. What's it like for you to see this kind of showcase again for Iowa State basketball to have a game that's going to get this kind of national attention at Hilton Coliseum. Well, I mean, it's absolutely awesome. I mean, it's uh, unexpected, and sometimes those are the best rewards. I have no doubt that even though the forecast looks miserable for January 1st in Ames, Iowa, that Hilton will be uh, rocking and it'll be, you know, it'll be really hot and steamy in there. You, you had a little bit too much satisfaction on your face when you talked about the miserable, miserable weather back in Iowa. You know we have to go back, right? Well, uh, the, this is the first bowl game that Ellen and Jamie Pollard don't have children with us, oh. and, which makes, A, makes you feel old, but B, gives you freedom not to go back. So Ellen and I are actually staying on. I'm gonna miss the Baylor game. I'll be watching it on TV, but we decided to uh, you know, take four or five days and kind of go enjoy ourselves kidless. Enjoy it. Thank you for your time, Jamie. Well, thank you. Uh, I appreciate it. Pollards won't be the only one with an idea about staying here a little bit longer. You know, it does work out where Jamie also could go to the Citrus Bowl, which is coming up Saturday, although that is the same time as the Baylor against Iowa State <laughs> basketball game.